So P3, example number six. Again, we're asked to solve an inequality and then graph its solution set. Now this one's a little trickier. So we're asked to solve and graph. And so for this particular one, we have negative three is less than 2x plus 5 all over 3 less than or equal to 5. Okay? All right. What is it that we don't like? Fractions. So what do we do? Get rid of it. How do I get rid of it? Multiply by 3. So what I'm going to do, we could do this all in one step. I can multiply the whole thing by 3 over 1. So I'm going to say 3 over 1 and then 3 over 1, and then 3 over 1 here. And then what we'll do is we're going to say negative 3 is less than 2x plus 5 all over 3, and then that is less than or equal to 5. And really, what's another way to write 5? Five? 5 over 1, but it doesn't matter. We can do the same thing with the negative 3 here. Okay, so technically, when you multiply those out, it's like three times this and three times this, and this should be in parentheses, right? Because we would want to distribute the three through the parentheses. All right, so now what happens though, because we chose three? Some things will cancel out, some things won't. So this one, three times negative three is negative nine, right? is less than. Now what happens with this 3 and this 3? They cancel out or reduce to 1 over 1. Right? It doesn't just disappear, it just reduces. Okay? So then that stays as 2x plus 5 is less than or equal to 3 times 5 which is 15. Alright, cool. Do we have x by itself? No. So what do I need to do? Subtract 5. All right, cool. I'll just subtract 5 here and subtract 5 here. I'm done? No. no. I got to do it to everything, right? So what's negative 9 minus 5? Negative 14 is less than 2x, because these go away and become 0, is less than or equal to 10. All right, 2x means what? Well, that's what we do, but what does 2x mean? 2 times x. So to move the 2, we do the inverse operation, which is divide. So we're going to divide everything by 2. And I get negative 7 is less than x is less than or equal to 5. Now here comes the hard part. That's the solution. How do we graph that? Well, first of all, on the number line, there's two numbers we're going to be dealing with. What are those two numbers? Negative 7 and 5. Now, at negative 7, are we including that value in our solution set? No. no. So how do I represent that? Huh? Yes, we could do a parentheses. All right. And then on the 5, are we including the number 5 in the solution set? Yes. So how do, what, what do I do there? Bracket. A bracket. So the bracket means we include it. And then it, uh, the numbers are where? In between those two or outside? Now, if you're not sure, just think of an x that makes this statement true. Negative 7 is less than 0 is less than or equal to 5. And 0 lives right in the middle. Does that make sense? So we're going to draw a little line in between here. And that is the graph of our solution set. Now, how do I write that out in uh, set notation, though? Parentheses, negative 7, comma. Wow, you guys are really smart. You must have an awesome principle. <laughs>